Hey, so I finally gave in and I got some 2122 extended. Um, I basically fa found a great deal at Zephyr Epic. Um, it was, they had a sale for about $94 a box plus tax. And, um, and, and along with some coupons I had, I ended up getting this for about a little over 100 all in. Um, they also have a pretty good deal with uh, free shipping if you basically order a hobby box. Well, technically $50 or more. Orders of $50 or more. It's probably the best deal out there um, for for free shipping. Um, so I just figured I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Um, so I'm just gonna do some kind of some product comparisons along the way. So if you look at the odds. You'll notice um, the big the big thing here is that you'll see um, select rare cards um, being one in sixteen, um, as opposed to uh, one in twenty four from last year. Um, you'll also see that uh, there's some there's in last year's you will see um, more insert cards like one and two, whatever that means. Here it's broken up a little more. Um, you'll see there's like canvas still and retro, like that That would all be grouped together and all that. So, so yeah, I think, so before we do that, I also have some more uh, replacement mail from Upper Deck. So if you saw my previous video, um, I got, I, th there was, there, those are some series, uh, series two replacement cards. And in the same order, in the same email, I got some, uh, MVP replacements. So we'll see what, hope, hopefully we'll get something decent, um, decent this time. I'm just, I'd just be happy with the replacements of the ones I sent. Um, Don't want to show my address and all that type of stuff, so I can do this a little cautiously. This actually feels a little heavier than two cards, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, we'll see what happens. So here's the standard. Uh, here's the standard uh, email, my case number. Yeah, I mean, I guess they just send one case, one one mail per case, and all uh, for. For uh, claims case and all that, so let's see what we got here. Oh, got a pack. And we got. I guess that explains why uh, it was heavier. Felt heavier than two cards. So, oh wow. <laughs> oh gee, that was very nice of them. I, ex I put in. A, I just asked for the regular replacements. I ended up getting the uh, gold parallels. Of to Chuck and connect me. All right. Wow, upper deck really. Yeah, they really, really go above and beyond. I've I've always heard stories of it, and uh, yeah, it seems to be proving true. So we also got a pack, a pack of MVP. Might as well uh, open that. I got like a rare hit or something. I mean, what would have? I mean, luck would just keep on keep on coming. So, well, there's our there's our ice battles of uh, Morgan Riley. You get one of those in every pack. Vander Kane, Adrian Kempe. It looks like an MVP. Uh, it's an MVP watch. And got. Keith, y Keith Iron Man Yandel. All right. And Braden Point. And just an ice battles. Yeah. So there's our, there's our hit. So, all right. Keith, Keith Iron Man Yandel. This looks like it's in very good shape. All right. So let's get into... Let's get into let's get into extended.
And of course, this box is uh, the box is in has pretty good structural integrity. Like, unlike the extended, where where it's like the back the backs of the extended boxes. Most of the boxes were just open like they they just weren't sealed properly. So. Anyways, let's get into let's get into extended. All right, here's the base cards. Uh, same as same as anything else. Same as series one and series two. So I'm not gonna go through that very much. All right, so we start off with the uh, William Eklund uh, SPX Finite, and you can see it's. The numbering's on the front, so I'm gonna do some whatever product comparisons I can here. It's compared to to last year's, it's little, the finite logo is a little more vertical, and there's a little more color matching, team color matching there. If you look at the back, um, you can see the numbering for last year's is on the back um, versus the f versus the front. Off to a off to a decent start there. All right, we got got a Young Guns of Alexi Protoss. Okay, that I think is one of the decent ones. So here's a so here's another base of. The Seattle Kraken base is a, the inaugural inaugural game, as you can see over here. The Seattle Kraken. I'm gonna put those aside. Um, those seem to be popular novelty card, even though it's just a base. We've got another inaugural inaugural game. Jamie Alexiak here, in relation to Canadian Olympian Penny Alexiak. Oh, we got two. Got another inaugural, inaugural game. All right, so we got our first canvas, uh, um, Zach Hyman. So this is so the canvases. So this is the first time um, canvases are. So unlike last last year's extended, there is a continuation of canvas. Uh, um, there are canvas young guns and there are mascots as well. Um, when I first heard mascots, I was like, oh, really? Like, MVP already has mascot, ma mascots, but these mascots are, for extended, actually are live action shots. So that's kind of cool. More, more uh, Seattle Kraken inaugural, inaugural game stuff. And it looks like we got our French variation there. Uh, David Riddich. We'll put the Kraken cards aside here. I don't know. People are selling those Kraken cards for way more than they're worth on eBay. I don't know why. They're actually selling. Uh, all right, so we got our first, um, first, first young gun, first uh, tribute card from this year, from this time from 0607 of of Scott Perunovich. So if we're just to do, uh, I don't have a canvas, I don't have a tribute young guns with me right now, but yeah, it's a little different than. Um, so this is basically the 0607 design. Frederick Anderson traded from Toronto. Oh. Had no idea. Braden Holt beats in with Dallas. Okay. And got a Young Guns of Connor Dewar. There's our David Riddish English. Oh, there's our 
and there's there's Michael there's a Michael Bunting update um, strangely enough it's canvas young guns is in here with Toronto even though even though his uh, original young guns from last year was from uh, for Arizona all right so there's our there's a holographics of uh, rookie holographics of Tanner you know just to do another uh, product last year comparison you can see the circles on the back are a bit bigger from last year and this year's it's a little smaller it's a little more um, a little more pronounced let's take a look at the back here yeah we got kind of got the holographic -y type look on the back there as well it's definitely a good name All right, first stack is done. Okay, so we got also we got these all star all star team um, markings here as well. Or oh, oh, nice rookie. So this is um, this is one of the this is one of the thing, one of the inserts that replaces um, rookie class and ultimate victory from last year. Black Diamond Mason McTavish. That is a that is a great name. Um, yeah, I haven't pulled his young guns yet, but I do have. I've pulled some other some other secondary stuff of them. That's for so that's uh, that's pretty good. Got a canvas of the reti now retired Jason Spezza. All right. Jack Drury, um, Young Guns there. Yeah, I've been mostly doing like group breaks of extended, uh, extended to start. Um, got a quite a few good Young Guns out of the process. So, all right, Troy, Troy Terry, all right. Compare that with the veteran veteran tribute cards. Um, kind of uses doesn't have the uh, cutoff there, so kind of uses more uses the whole uh, uses more of the card and all that. Um, font's a little darker this year's. Oh wow! Oh, oh, UD exclusives, Claude Giroux. All right, I will. I'm definitely gonna take. I'll definitely take that. And you can see the number numberings on the top. Oh, this is numbered to ten. So this is. So it's really the. I think this might be the, uh, like a high gloss version or something. UD might be. I don't know if that's a misprint or something like that it, that normal normally if it normally if it's up to 10 if it's to 10 it's it would usually be high gloss it would usually say high gloss this feels a little glossier than the other one the other cards although not a whole lot Big 
stacks there. All right, so let's do the next stack. It's turning out uh, pretty good so far. Uh, clutter, clutter, but I got the cow clutterbuck pack. This is a this is the here's the clear here's a clear cut version of it. This definitely feels heavier than the other cards. Cole Schwint, Young Guns. We got, looks like we got a canvas of uh, Matt. Grill chick, grill sick. I didn't want to say chick because there's, I've seen it, seen spelling names with a Z in it, so I don't know. Um, right. Oh, we got a. SPX of Marit Cider. All right, that's a that is a good name. I will. T I think this is a newer. Um, take a look at the back here. Um, this is more of an. I think yeah. This is one of the newer inserts that weren't available last year. Uh, Alright, got a Sebastian Ajo um, retro. This one is um, has a horizontal orientation um, as far as I know I don't think there's like a vertical or a, there's like th this is, this is by design I don't think there's just like a set of like like a horizontal parallel or anything like that um, Justin Danforth. Yeah, so there's also there's also like trilogy rookies um, in here um, because I think trilogy for twenty one twenty two was canceled. Um, so I mean, I I think that's I think that was a good move to put it in extended. All right, so we got a veteran um, holographics of Kirill Kaprizov. It's very looks very similar to the holographics with the background. It's very similar background. It's a completely uh, completely different design. The bat this 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 time around. The other, the other thing I do want to kind of point out is with extended, they kind of, they finally exposed the odds of the photo variations. Um, you'll see it's one in, 
there's gonna there's about two per case so one in every six boxes uh, there's always a fun little Easter egg um, in the past but now they just kind of exposed that so we got another black diamond oh wow that's three star <laughs> wow three stars Jeremy Swayman that is that is salt that is solid um I'm pretty 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 lucky with the black diamond stuff so far um yeah I, I know you probably not get swim is probably not getting the play timing as much play time as right now just because Boston's doing just doing so well with Olmark um but yeah still it's that's definitely De definitely good name. So we got a canvas, Matt, no, just a regular canvas of Evan Rodriguez. Let's see how one's inside there. All right, three packs. So this is turning out pretty good. I remember um, talking with. I remember talking with the patriarch at uh, Total Sports, and I got. Ben McCartney, uh, Total Sports Cards, and he, um, he kind of said he kind of kind of hinted at at a few things. At one thing about like you know how they they knew they screwed up extended, um, and they said they would uh, Upper Deck was going to make up for it. So we got Drake Batherson. tribute he kind of hinted at that um i think one of the two sons there he also hinted that shane wright wasn't going to be in 22 23 series one so but yeah i think definitely this extent extended is a much better product so we got a reflections here of william eklund so we got two two william eklund cards here all right, in in this box, We've got a uh, Eklund Reflections and Eklund SPX Finite. So yeah, I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this. Like the cards look, cards look really nice. I think overall, um, definitely definitely happy with definitely happy with the overall look. The quality is really good too. There's like the corners are really sharp. I think these were were these made in yeah they were printed in Italy um, this this year. Although like the Tim Hortons cards are actually I think printed in the U U S. So either way, Italy's fine. So we got um, two two black diamonds and two really good names too. Um, got McTavish and Swayman. Um, Young Guns, I guess, I was hoping to get Seth Jarvis or Alexander Holtz. But that didn't happen. That's okay. Um, got Kirill Kaprizov as an NHL holo vet Veterans Holographics. Um, got a Moritz Cider SPX. Um, got, got this uh, this Claude Giroux exclusives out of, out of 10. Um very very happy with that um jury jason spencer tangential hall graphics got per perunovic tribute young guns there's our french variant of david riddich and for for my mvp replacement um very su pleasantly surprised getting gold parallels of cards I sent sent out sent sent out for replacement so I'm very happy with that um yeah so I think that's that's gonna be it today um yeah hopefully hopefully this was a fun hope hopefully this was a fun break to watch um my 16 17 series 2 mega box surprise surprisingly got got a whole lot of views um so thank you very much for that 
and uh, I'll see you next time.